pleasure to bring you our PGA Tour action live on 2K Sports. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Back in Vegas alongside Rich Beam at beautiful TPC Summerlin. I'm Luke Elvey. And this golf course and particularly opening hole, a lot of fun. It is pretty simple, straightforward. 409 yards for the back tee. Bunker down the right-hand side does come into play, so players taking out something other than driver. Three wood, two irons. That will leave a very short second shot. They can tuck that pin over the left-hand side just over the bunker, making a difficult second. But all in all, this is a good opportunity for an opening birdie. Let's get down to the action. Ooh, right by the hole. And that should secure the par. Well done. Starting the round at even par. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waist area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. And he needs this to save par. Oh, just missed. And this one is for bogey. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I am down on the fourth, and this is Sergio Garcia's next shot. Now, this one's from downtown. Make sure you get the pace right. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, guys, I'm over here with Billy Horschel. This is his next shot here on the fourth. Rich, what kind of mojo do you think this player's got after winning in their last start? This player has more confidence, I believe, than any other player in the field at the moment. This should be another good week for him. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. Just didn't drop. Putting for bogey. And down it goes for consecutive bogeys. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign. Have to see if they can't rebound from that. Currently at two, two over par. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole. Just be accurate on approach. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. But not a bad approach, that one. Up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Ouch, that hurts. And this putt coming up for his par. Well hold. Let's move on. Trailing by four strokes. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. 
We're lining up the birdie putt here. Yeah, a bit long on that one. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Yeah, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Sitting at a couple over for the day. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Opting for the 9-iron. Trying to get it to move a little bit to the left here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Here's what Bryson DeChambeau managed just a short time ago. We heard some applause a little while ago. Let's see if it comes from this approach shot. All right, John, how's this putt looking? That's about a 24-foot putt, I'd say. It was on a good line. You can make this one. It's for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. Let's return to live play now. Well, I know that we're in the booth and not right up close to it, but it doesn't take a smart person to work out that's not a nice lie. Going with the five iron here. That's a bad error to make there. That's headed right. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. Sadly hasn't made a putt all day. Hopefully that can change here. Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Trailing by five shots after that hole. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, what a shame it didn't drop, but that looked good the whole way. Job done. Let's head to the next. John, what's going on out there? Well, I'm down on the 10th hole. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. In the bunker, off the tee. Got to make up for a mistake. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safe in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the pace. And we look at a birdie here. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. The 
tenth for TPC Sutherland is the beginning hole of a back nine that has many challenges and also a lot of fun holes. Not overly long at 420 yards. You just try to avoid any trouble off the tee so you can get a clear shot at this green. A chance to begin the back nine with a birdie. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Wow, that's misjudged. Downhill, all the way, down grain just a bit. They let it get away from him. Just 10 feet to the cup here. And this next putt here is for a double bogey. Okay, let's head to the next. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole, par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Uh, didn't quite hit it, did you? Can't believe he did that. That drives you bonkers as a player. Time to find out what's happening at the 13th hole. Even for the day. Currently tied for seventh position. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 12. This one might need to get down a little. Good shot there. Been a bit of a struggle on the greens. Hopefully he can change it here. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. This is a par putt. And that puddle drop. Well done. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left-hand side. But if you want to lay up, Make sure you're giving yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three-putt it. Be careful on approach. Oh, dear. That's on the beach. Gary Player couldn't play bunker shots any better than that. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker. In for the birdie. Good job. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down here on the 14th, guys, this is Billy Horschel. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long putt. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Now five strokes behind. The 15th at TPC Sutherland is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau. Let's get back to it, shall we?
This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? Luke, I got to say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. Sitting at two over for the day. The 16th at TPC Summerlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. We need this one to bounce right. And this putt to move into the top 20. That was a gallant attempt. Three feet to go here to the hole. And down it goes. Sitting at a couple over for the event. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three measuring just under 200 yards from the tips. The green shapes hard right to left towards that water hazard. Make sure you're clever at shaping your ball or don't take on any hole location that's tucked in near to the water. This one's for birdie. That one's come up short. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Our coverage continues at the last. Getting ready to play their third. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Five shots off the lead. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for Birdie at the last. OK, steady now. 73 is nothing to be shy about. But let's make this putt. And with it, that concludes his event. Sadly, no back-to-back -back victories here for this player, Rich, but you'd have to be impressed with their performance overall. Luke, unfortunately, not getting the back-to-back -back wins came ever so close, but unfortunately, coming up just a little bit shy, still awfully impressed with this week's work. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Southern Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside PGA champion Rich Beam. We're in the booth and down on the course is John McCarthy. Hi, Luke. Happy to be here at Hickory Creek Golf Course. Looking forward to see what happens here today. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, this one's looking like 23 feet. All good putters accelerate through the ball. That will drive you bats. Starting the round above par today. Yeah, well, you're used to making bogeys a lot, Luke. This player is not. I think that there will be birdies to come, no doubt about it. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Wonderfully played. And here we are with the third shot. Going with the 9-9, I think. Come on, sit. This part is about 16 feet. Ooh. Par putt coming up here. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Oh, great swing there. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. Bryson DeChambeau with a fantastic shot. Simply amazing what he does from here. Playing from around 190 yards out. Going with the five wood. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, he's, he's got about 28 feet to the cup from here. Uh, a bit long on that one. And this one is for his par. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Sitting at one over for the day. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. Wow, what a shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This would be a good putt to hold. It'll help move you into the top ten. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Opting for the five wood. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. John, do you have any info down there? Well, guys, I'm down here on the sixth. This is Billy Horschel. And back to the course with the live action. This would be a great up and down. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Job done. Let's head to the next. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Oh, well done. 
Sitting at plus one. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Not taking enough club to get it there. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Nice stroke. And down she goes. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland. Here's a chance to get up and down from the greenside bunker. And after this hole, that's how it looks. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Well, there's been highlights of plenty. How about what happened at the eighth? Billy Horschel's playing some beautiful golf. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. OK, let's get back to the action. Yeah, good safe shot, this one. That should find the surface. Yep, that shot's safely on the green. 13 feet to the hole. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. He's in a share of 15th. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. And coming up well short. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Just a four footer remaining. And there it is. Matt Kuchar is atop of the leaderboard with a one stroke lead. We have a par five on this one. That should find the fairway. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Getting ready to play their third. Currently four shots off the pace. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. John, give us a small update. Well, I've been following Billy Horschel and uh, down here on the 10th hole. Let's get back to it, shall we? Good opportunity coming up. Make this putt and you'll move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. It's got a chance. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. I oh, will take that and a spot in the top 10 to boot. Justin Thomas is our current leader. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Looks to have opted for the 8-iron. That should find the surface. A fair bit on the line here. A spot the top five. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And that will take him to one under. And JT is currently our leader. This hole is a par three. Pretty good shot there. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Oh, that's frustrating. A tie for third spot on the leaderboard. Up for grabs if he can hold this. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm.
And here we are with the third shot. Three behind our leader. Make this putt and you'll move into second on the leaderboard. Oh, so close. Opportunity to make their par. And well hold. Let's move on. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland. Time for the fifth shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. He's got a one-shot buffer. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That's heading for the fairway. From about 200 yards out. Two strokes off the lead. Looks like they've got the five wood. Uh, that's going right. Getting ready to play their third. Just a couple back from our leader. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Good putt that. He finds himself in a share of four. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. That one's heading down Broadway. Looks to be going with the six iron. That might be one club too many. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Oh, so close, but an easy par. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? I'm down here on the 15th, guys. This is Billy Horschel. And this putt's for birdie. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. And Justin Thomas currently leads the field. We have a par four on this one. Oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago. This is his third. And back to the course with the live action. Rich, for such a long time, Gary Woodland was one of those physical beasts. A guy that you knew who could flat ball it out there, but he didn't seem to get the most out of his game until he found out a way to get it in the hole quicker. He's always been a good ball striker, but I think just maybe simplifying the game a little bit and not focusing on the swing or the short game or the putt, trusting that his abilities were good enough, and he finally got out of his own way, started racking up the wins, had a lot of close finishes, but no victories, until finally, finally gets the US Open Championship at Pebble Beach. What a moment. So many shots there that I will never forget, ever. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Check out what he does from the fairway bunker here. Let's return to live play now. A chance to move to a couple under the card with this putt. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. And just about eight feet left to the hole. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. He's currently tied for second. Just a couple to go. Let's see how you handle the penultimate hole. This is the all-important stretch. Time to make your move. That's a good-looking shot there. Going with the five wood. Better bring their binoculars. Going to have a hard time seeing the hole from there. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. And in it goes for the par. Justin Thomas has built a two-stroke advantage over the field. 
Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. That dog will hunt. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Only a few shots off the pace. Opting for the six iron. That's some good golf right there. This putt to move into a share of second place. And another round safely in the books. And as this event comes to a conclusion, he'll take a tie for second. Not a bad result whatsoever. Top three at any tournament is a good showing. Didn't get the top prize, but still, Lots of positives to take from. However, they're probably also going to look at the negatives, what they could have done better to get to that first place. But still, nice paycheck headed their way. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. And on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's a goodbye for now.